In today's video, we're going to be taking a look here at the tropics where things are still relatively active as we're quickly approaching the peak of hurricane season. We're also going to dive into the upcoming pattern overall. So there is so much to talk about. Before we get into things, we have released our snowfall forecast over in the prestige weather server so you can check that out for five bucks a month in the description and pinned comment down below you can sign up and get access to that we're also releasing the when do you expect your first frost video today it was quite chilly last night if you didn't notice we are getting close so we're we are going to be releasing that within there we also are doing weather consulting in there so there's many different services to gain access to for only five bucks a month within there again in the pinned comment and description down below Let's get into things and first things first, we're taking a look here at our tropics. We see that we have post-tropical cyclone Adelia there. We have tropical storm Gert, tropical storm Cadia, Cadia, something like that. And then we have this area of disturbance. We will get into the cone forecast for all of these in a minute. Uh, firstly, we do see that this does have a 70% chance of development now, and it will be heading towards the Caribbean. So this one we are going to be on high alert for only a 20% chance of development over the next two days. So we do have to wait a little bit of time before we start talking about this one really being a impactful storm or a developing storm. But we will see this one eventually likely be developing here in the Atlantic. So this is going to be our main concern moving forward for the lower 48 and for the Caribbean. As we get into the cone forecast areas, we see Tropical Storm Gert expected to remain a tropical storm until 8 p.m. on Saturday, probably dissipating at that point. No impact to land. We're going to move right past it. Uh, this one already dissipated. Let's see. This one already dissipated as well. And then we see post-tropical cyclone Adelia here expected to kind of remain that tropical storm status until about Wednesday, Thursday time frame, so midweek. And then we will see this one downgrade to tropical depression status there near Newfoundland and uh, Nova Scotia there. And that one might may bring some rainfall, some windiness to those areas. So we will see potentially some North America impacts again from Adelia. Hopefully and obviously nothing like it was before though. Now, with all that tropical stuff being said, let's just get into the upcoming pattern. And as you can see, literally today, by this afternoon, let's see. We could see some storminess happening here along the southwest here, also for areas along the Gulf and the southeast here. We're seeing plenty of this activity as well. So some thunderstorms around, but overall we are in a quieter pattern and we do expect to kind of remain that way. You will see that in a minute. But uh, as we keep going, the west continues to see this pretty scattered about storminess taking place. Same story here for a lot of the deeper south again. So Sunday is going to be pretty similar to today. Sunday here, we see this storminess in the west moving further and further north over time. So we do see this kind of continuing to rise up uh, over time relatively slowly, but it does occur. We do see four areas in that Mississippi River area seeing some storms as well. Let's keep going. And by the time we reach Tuesday, September 5th here, we could see a lot of thunderstorm activity here for a lot of the Rockies and then along that kind of upper Midwest area. Now, as we can see here for a lot of areas in Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Arkansas, Tennessee, uh, Missouri, there, Illinois, Indiana, Kentucky, we are seeing some thunderstorms firing up for many different spots. By the time we reach Wednesday, September 6th here, we can see a little bit of a low pressure system developing, 1006 here. And um, we can see a lot of thunderstorm activity for many different areas, 1004 out here out west. And we are seeing some thunderstorms, especially up there in Canada, but also for those northern Rockies and the northern areas in the Pacific Northwest there. So getting a little bit more stormy with time here by September 6th. By September 7th, which will be a Thursday here, we see 1006 here over the Great Lakes, causing some thunderstorm activity for these areas here. Overall, we do see a little bit of isolated activity here for some of the Rockies into the Northern Plains, but it is relatively light, relatively isolated, and won't be too impactful, especially when compared to these further east stormy areas here. As we keep going here towards Friday, September 8th, we could see some more thunderstorm activity happening for the Mid-Atlantic up through the Northeast. And we can see that for a lot of the plains, we are seeing some thunderstorms developing underneath all of this activity there. So definitely some very, very active stuff happening 
for a couple of areas. I would say it's active in some scattered about regions, but not overall for the entire nation is how I'd kind of describe it. We do get a bit of a cold front here by Saturday. So we do see this kind of uh, elongated area of thunderstorms as a result of this, probably some cooler air moving in behind it. We'll take a look at the temperatures in a minute, like always, but definitely some more impactful thunderstorms as a result of this on the 9th. And then for September 10th, Sunday, when a lot of our NFL games are starting, I know we're already approaching that time of year, we could see for a lot of the east and the plains here, we're seeing some thunderstorms scattered about as well, but nothing too crazy happening here. And our final day here on Monday, September 11th, we can see here some thunderstorm activity. Also for the mid-Atlantic, some thunderstorm activity, but nothing too crazy. Now, as we take a look at here at the total precipitation, we could see areas in the whites dealing with pretty much no precipitation. Your grays are going to be anywhere from a tenth of an inch or less. Greens are a tenth of an inch to half an inch. Blues half an inch to an inch. Your yellows an inch to two inches. Reds two to five inches there. And then your browns five to ten. But we're not really seeing any browns, so we're not going to worry too much about that. But your reds are definitely two to five. And we do see a couple of areas dealing with this here through the Rockies. Uh, we do see some of our plains dealing with this deeper south a little bit. And then kind of just this northern corridor of the east here, we're seeing anywhere from North Dakota through Minnesota, Wisconsin, a little bit of Michigan perhaps, and then up into New England, we're seeing some of these reds popping up. So it is scattered about where we're having that above average activity, and it's nothing crazy by any means, but there is still some areas dealing with uh, quite a bit of activity. It's just really, really spotty at this point. As we take a look here at our temperature pattern, we can see we are dealing with cooler temperatures. We have a lot of heat on the way for mid to late week though. Uh, it is gonna be really, really sweltering. Uh, we do see a bit of a negative PNA pattern setting up and this is probably what we have to blame for this. So negative PNA, this surges the warmth here for a lot of these areas here. Uh, and we continue to see that type of a pattern take place here as you can see. Uh, we do begin to move into a cooler pattern later on. So as we reach the mid to late point of the month, we do see some significant warming in this Western region, indicative of a positive PNA pattern, Pacific North American Oscillation is what that stands for. And what we end up seeing as a result of this is colder air being forced down and we're seeing a lot of blues pop back up. So maybe mid to late September, some a, a bigger cool down on the way. And I think that that's going to be the trend here for the, the kind of early to midpoint of fall. Uh, we may start to see some bigger cool downs on the way. So exciting stuff here. Obviously, as we reach into mid to late September, those cooler temperatures might be pretty significant. So maybe some 70s, maybe some 60s for a few folks. Some fall weather is perhaps on the way. Very exciting. Anyway, again, be sure to check out Prestige Weather in the description, pinned comment down below. Also, be sure to subscribe for more weather updates daily, just like this one. Also, you can hit the bell icon for daily notifications when we upload, so you never miss one. Like the video if you did enjoy it, leave a comment down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.